Hi, I'm artist and educator Laurie Dorn, here to get you started with Procreate. Why Procreate? Procreate has a robust range of tools that anyone can create with, from beginner to advanced. Through this series, I will share my crush on creativity using Procreate. I hope you grow to love it too. Let's tour the interface and see what Procreate has to offer. Here's what Procreate looks like. There are many tools hidden under each section of the interface. We'll take a look at them. Our first tool reveals the brush library. Within this, you'll see a range of different kinds of brushes you can choose from. In addition, if you tap the brush, you'll bring up the characteristics and you can actually test your brush here. There's a lot of adjustments you can make. Next up is your smudger. It also has different brushes. And you'll find the same thing with your eraser. Next up is your layer panel. We'll take a closer look at this later. And then we have the color chooser. Here you're gonna find a color wheel, your palettes, and we'll be looking at a lot of this another day. First up on the left, we have the actions panel. Under here, you'll see you can add files, copy, paste. Next, you'll find your canvas information, then an array of export options. Also your video option, your preferences, which you can set up yourself later. And then the all important help window. Procreate's handbook is super helpful to get started. Next, we have the adjustments panel. This allows you to do a lot of advanced editing. Here we have selections. There's lots of options. And last up, our transform panel. There's lots of options to transform your selections. Last up, our sidebar. The top slider controls your brush size, while the lower one controls opacity. And maybe the most important, the undo redo buttons. That's the overview of Procreate's interface. Take some time to explore for yourself. 